I mean, seriously, you can be there. I know. I can be here, and I we know. can both be cooking at the same exactly. time. There's so much room here. <laughs> exactly. I'll do the soup, you do the grill. I'm Carisha Swanson. I'm here to show you this incredible kitchen. Carisha, welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, and welcome to Provo, Utah. Thank you, it's cold out there. <laughs> it is cold, glad you're here. So your, your firm worked on this entire house. Yes, we did. This is new construction and we built this, we started about two years ago. Okay. And it's been built for about a year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We actually demoed an old property and then we built this house in its place. Really? Yeah, but she didn't want this house to feel so brand spanking new. Right, right. And so we made it look like a traditional home that had been here all along. Okay. They wanted to feel like it blended in and they actually lived in the home before, loved the neighborhood, wanted a new home and then decided, let's just knock down the old one that we live yeah. in and build the home that we actually want because we already love our neighbors. Mm -hmm. So you actually worked on this with one of your designers. Yes, Suzanne. So she's, is she coming today? Yeah, she's okay. here. Oh. You're gonna love her. She's the best. <laughs> Suzanne, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Oh, so nice to meet you. Welcome. Well, thank you for walking me through. Of course. You're gonna take me through the rest, yes? Perfect. Okay, great. Yep. So tell me about this, because so many people okay. are putting like quartz, it's yeah. like the big conversation. Everybody's putting quartz mm -hmm. in their spaces. You've gone a different direction. Yep, we have marble on all the perimeter countertops. Yeah. And then we have these two butcher block countertops. And the reason why we did that was again, just for interest, we liked the idea of having multiple finishes in here. The butcher block has actually been really, really great. Yeah. Huh? And it brings an obvious warmth to the space and just interest in, in kind of this age that we were wanting for the space. It just feels right. like something from a different time period and yeah. something unpredictable. Okay. We have to talk about this. Yes, this, this is, is amazing. This is the party wall, I will call. The party wall. The party wall <laughs> of the kitchen. When we were doing all the different space planning of like, where should our fridge go? Where should all these things go? We loved having the fridge and freezer here yeah. because it is so close to the pantry and mudroom. So when you're bringing in all your groceries, sure. you plop them down here and you load them in. There but we go. didn't, Again, you don't see like a stainless appliance in here aside from the gorgeous range. Right. So we wanted to just this to integrate into this beautiful china cabinet. And she had all this really great crystal from her mother, all this pink depression wear. Susan always said, if you cut me open, this yeah. is these are the colors of my this soul. Is this is it. The colors of her soul. I yes. Love that. Yes. So we're just we're like, where can we integrate those? And yeah. we're like, this is the wall. This so is highlighting all that. of her. And so what's hiding yes. here? Because there's always oh. something hiding in a kitchen. <laughs> exactly. This is the other car that you park in your, yes. beside the range that you park. And it's so fun. This series, there you go. You just touch it and it opens. This is our fridge. Fantastic. This is our gorgeous fridge with all the fixins. The depth of this is perfect because you can see everything. Exactly. Yeah. We, we like to do that. We like to have the counter depth on the yeah. fridge. Yeah. So many kitchens you go into and everything's beautiful, but then you have a fridge that's like popping out 30 deep. Yeah. And you're like, oh no, your, tw your countertop's usually 24. <laughs> right. And so it just becomes like this offense that's sticking out into the middle of the room. And so we love, again, with the whole integration of everything, it was really important to yeah. have that counter depth fridge. I love that. I have to show you something. Okay. That we failed to address when on this beautiful island. Yeah. Okay, so see this like lovely drawer set? Yeah. This comes out. This is our cutting board. Oh, wow. This is actually underneath here our trash cans. Oh, we have perfect. two banks of trash cans. And that is why we have this Lovely so you can hole. literally like chop anything, cut anything, exactly. and just wipe it right off and there's no real, there's nothing really to clean up. You just have to wipe this board down. Nope, exactly. And you keep all your countertops looking good. Someone can be prepping a salad over here and just throw it on in there. That's, think, that's great. I know, another surprise. Another we have lots surprise. of treats in this house. <laughs> it's so much fun. Over here, we've kind of switched it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. We have drawers happening over here, and then we have a door system happening over here because this is actually a service window that we have a pizza oven out on the porch on the oh, deck. Does this open up? Yes, this is a service window that can actually open up, and you can just open this up. Oh, that's great. And you have this whole dining moment where they can come, the pizza can come through here, and drinks can come from here and go outside. Right, because there's a whole ledge right here. Yep, we have a whole nother countertop out here and uh, another fun treat here. If you move over to your left, I'm going to show you something really cool. So in here, this is where we have our ice machine. I love this. For me, an ice maker is yes. key. <laughs> I know, I'm, that's usually at the top of our list. Yes. We're like, have you lived with an ice maker? Because it will change your life. It'll change your life. It'll change your life completely. I love that. 
This is yeah. like the main cooking this stage is, almost. Yes, <laughs> no, this, is, this is the focal piece. This is the hearth of the kitchen, yeah. right? So we have our range and in Utah we have, everyone has a double oven okay. because we do have such large families and big gatherings sure. and so sometimes people put towers on the wall. We opted for a large range. This is a, this is a state that likes to have dinner at home. We love to have dinner yeah, at home. We yeah. love food and we love family and parties. Yeah, that's so, a great combination. I know, <laughs> cheers, cheers. I mean, seriously, you can be there. I know. I can be here, and I we can know. both be cooking at the same exactly. time. There's so much room here. <laughs> exactly. I'll do the soup, you do the grill. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you want. So. And of course, a pot filler on the wall, and yes. you know, most designers, a lot of designers have like a love-hate relationship with these. I know. <laughs> That's true. Yes. We love them. It's more hardware. It's more jewelry it's more for hardware. the kitchen. Yes. And something that we really loved the idea of doing was doing this tiled hood idea because you just don't see it that much. When you look at old kitchens yeah. and older spaces, you do see a lot of beautiful tile work. And mm -hmm. so we really want to I don't know, highlight that. We like everything to feel like it has been touched by an artist. Yes. And so we didn't want to do a flat tile. We wanted to do something that had really unusual glazing and pooling so that again, you could feel the artistry in it. So and that's so, why there's so much kind of color variation mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. yeah, and you can feel like it has a crackle to it and you can see the pulling of the darker color happening. So really, we kind of picked this and then we picked our cabinet color. Okay. So to help it just kind of all bleed into one another. You can see how it chases all the way through oh, yeah. the kitchen. And you can see obviously where like these breaks on the window are. So oh, it centers there. A really concerted effort to not just do a little mini backsplash behind no. the gas range. No, we wanted to take anytime we can take a surface from top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. We want it. We want to do that because we want to almost feel like the entire wall is made out of that. Right, you know? right. Mm -hmm. we took it from the countertops all the way to the ceiling, from interior corner on that wall, all the way around. Around it as much as we could. Yeah. Yep. And so right behind you, I know yes. you mentioned this before, mm -hmm. this of course is like the work island, yep. right? Yep. Everybody's wish is to have two dishwashers so well, we can- it's so easy. Right? And isn't it the worst when you have one full and one, <laughs> and you don't have another one, you, you just have, have dirty, one. you have dirty dishes hanging out in the sink. We now have two that we can actually put them all away. I love that. This kitchen has so much personality. It does. This so. does not feel like a home that was built in the 2000 teens. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it does not. We wanted it to have soul. We wanted yeah. it to have age and wisdom. And I really feel like it does. There's so it 100% does. Yeah, there's a lot of thought work in here. And I, yeah. think, I think the homeowners feel like this is home. Yes, you know? that's super so, important. Yeah. <laughs>